Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys saw by the title of today's video and as you saw by the thumbnail, I'm going to be showing you guys how I save money by doing my own nails at home. So if you guys are interested, then keep on watching. So tools you're gonna to be needing are cuticle nippers as well as a cuticle pusher. You're also going to need your dehydrator as well as your primer. Followed by your acrylic powder of your choosing. I happen to be using the Young Nails in the shade Cover Pink today, as well as the Young Nails Monomer. You'll also need rubbing alcohol. I happen to be using 91%, 75 and 50 should be fine. Detail, art brushes, and your drill bits as well. You're also gonna need top gel, base gel, and the color of your choosing. But as y'all saw by the thumbnail, I'm doing a basic white French tip. So of course, I'm using French tips. You're also gonna need a e-file. You could do this by hand if you want, but the e-file is gonna make things go by faster. So jumping straight into the video, I'm just going in with my drill bit to get down the top gel and base gel from my nail. I'm really not doing any debulking at this current moment. I'm just getting the previous polish off my nails. I'm just going to be removing all the base coat and top coat from all of my nails on my left hand because doing both hands at the same time is practically impossible. As you guys can see, I'm literally only doing one hand. Now I'm going in with my cuticle pusher and realistically, I'm gently pushing back my cuticles, but for editing purposes, this video is sped up drastically. So when you do your own nails, don't go as rough because you will hurt yourself. I kid you not, you might just cut your finger. So be gentle when pushing your cuticles back because realistically, that's what I was doing. So after I push my cuticles back with the cuticle pusher, I'm going in with this small cuticle drill bit and getting all that dead skin off my nail bed and lifting, I believe it's what the epinicium. Child, I'm not a professional nail tech, but I'm lifting whatever needs to be lifted so I can cut it off with my cuticle nippers. Just how I gave you a disclaimer with the cuticle pusher, I'm going to give you another one. When using cuticle nippers, please take your time. Like I said, for editing purposes, this is sped up, but when I'm cutting my cuticles with my cuticle nipper, I am indeed taking my time to prevent myself from cutting myself, okay? Now I'm going in with, I believe is a sanding band. I wanna say it's a 180 to 180, don't quote me, but I am sanding my nail down just to get everything nice and smooth and prepped for acrylic application. After going in with the sanding band, I'm going to clean my nails off with some rubbing alcohol just to make sure I got all the dirt and debris off. That way it doesn't interfere with my acrylic application. So now that we're about to start applying the acrylic, I'm using a Kalinsky number 10 brush. Ideally, I would want to be using a number 12, but beggars cannot be choosers. So right now I'm going in and I'm prepping my nails. I'm using the Mia Secrets Dehydrator as well as the Mia Secret Primer. I forgot to go ahead with my Young Nails Protein Bond, but if you can get your hands on that, I suggest using that as well. So now we're laying down the acrylic. To be honest, I was in a very awkward position right here because when I do my nails, my hand is to my eyeball. So I'm trying my best to make sure that you guys can see everything, but I hope you guys were able to see the size of the bead that I used to fill in around my cuticle. I didn't grab too big of a bead. See, there's a method that I used. Shout out to this girl on TikTok, bless her heart. I believe she said tap the brush three times on the side and then on the opposite side you dip that into the acrylic and that should give you a small bead and ever since then i've been using that method and that method gives me perfect results every time as you just saw so this part is very fast forwarded because it's literally repetitive i'm just doing the same technique on every finger making sure everything is nice and flush and smooth and the acrylic is applied properly Allow me to address the elephant in the room. My pinky has no nail on it. So long story short, when I was in the gym working out, I slammed a plate on my nail and literally cracked my real nail and my acrylic nail in half. So I had to take a break for about three days, but your girl is back. As y'all see, I'm putting acrylic back on the nail because I'm not about to be out here in these streets with no nail. <laughs> Out, 
and just like that y'all the acrylic is laid and she looks so smooth and perfect and now i'm going in with my drill bits disclaimer again please be very careful with these drill bits because they can cut you these are rotating blades so tread very lightly if you're not safe and you don't feel comfortable use a hand file it may take a little longer but i'd rather you use a hand file than something you're not comfortable with but i hope you guys are paying attention i am going around my cuticles just to smoothen everything out make sure the cuticles are nice and flush and not over flooded with acrylic because sometimes that does happen like i said i'm not a pro and then after I'm done using my e-file to seal the cuticles of my nails, I'm going in with my hand file to fix and up my shape. My shape wasn't too bad, but of course, I like my shape to look real sharp and fresh. Like it's a brand new full set, okay? So I'm over here rotating my hands in different positions just to make sure I get every angle to make sure everything looks proper to my particular liking. Here we are again with another drill bit, but this one is a safety drill bit, so you will not harm yourself. I believe this one that I'm using in particular is a fine drill bit. I have been using this as of lately in replacement as a nail buffer because I just don't see the point for me to go to the store and buy a nail buffer right now. If I have this, it's way more convenient and it's easier for me to use. So I'm just going ahead and buffing all of my nails, making sure everything is nice and smooth. There are no bumps, no lumps, because after this step, I will be wiping my nails down, rubbing alcohol, so I can prep my nails for the base coat. okay now i'm just showing you guys me applying my base coat to my nails which isn't anything too drastic or too difficult you're literally just painting your nails with a base coat and after i do my base coat i am going to be painting my french on i did try my best to show you guys how i paint my french if you see it great but if you don't i'm so sorry because like i said when i do my nails my hand is to my eyeballs because i need to really make sure that i'm doing everything correctly like right now i'm trying to make sure i get the base gel on all sides of the nails and then curing my nails for 60 seconds and then after that i will be painting the french tip on my hands as you see right here so if you can see great awesome but if you can't i'm so sorry Hell raise 
well chasing new worldly possessions. Flesh making, spirit breaking, which one would you listen? The better part of human heart, you love them or dissect them. Happiness or blackness, how do you serve the question? In the perfect world. At this point, everything is going to be very repetitive. All the steps that I did to my left hand, I will be applying to my right hand. So I hope you guys enjoy just watching me do my other hand. And I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Chasing new worldly possessions, flesh making, spirit breaking. Which one would you listen? The better part of human heart, you love them or dissect them. Happiness or blackness, how do you serve the question? In the perfect world, I would be perfect world. I don't trust people enough beyond a surface world. I don't love people enough to put my faith in man. I put my faith in these lyrics, hoping I make a band. I understand I ain't perfect, I probably won't come around. This time I might push you down. Last time I ain't give a fuck, I still feel the same now. My feelings might go numb, you're dealing with cold though. I'm willing to give up a leg and arm to show empathy from. Pity parties and functions like you and yours. A perfect world, you probably live for another 24. I can't fake humble just cause your ass is insecure. I can't fake humble just cause your ass is insecure. <laughs> And that, you guys, is how I do my nails at home and save myself some money. So I hope you guys liked today's video. If you guys have any questions, please don't forget to comment down below. Thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! I would like to get to know if you could.